One of our three Lenten practices, besides fasting and prayer, is almsgiving. Sometimes people take the money they save from giving up candy or sugared drinks or coffee and give that money to people who are in desperate need. Hi, I'm Father Kabicki of the Apostleship of Prayer, and I'd like to share with you St. Leo the Great's thoughts on this. In a homily he gave about 16 centuries ago, he said, There is no more profitable practice as a companion to fasting than that of almsgiving. This embraces under the single name of mercy many excellent works of devotion, so that the good intentions of all the faithful may be of equal value, even where their means are not. The works of mercy are innumerable. Their very variety brings this advantage to those who are true Christians, that in the matter of almsgiving, not only the rich and affluent, but also those of average means and the poor are able to play their part those who are unequal in their capacity to give can be equal in the love within their hearts. Reading that, I'm reminded of how Jesus saw wealthy people putting lots of money in the temple donation box and how he praised a poor widow who put in a small coin. She gave the way God gives, with generosity and love. You may not have much to share with others, but if you give with love, Jesus will take your offering and multiply it, just like he did with five loaves and two fish. Father James Kubicki is the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer. For prayer resources and to learn more about the Apostleship of Prayer, visit their website at apostleshipofprayer.org.